I had to, like, I had to. That's the first day of fall. Of course I'm gonna get my pants and spurs on team. <laughs> like, duh. All right, let's get started. This is so messy. That's disgusting, actually. You know, I gotta save the turtles. <laughs> mm. It's pretty good. Anyways, girl, let's jump in the video, cause. Hey guys, I'm Laura, I'm your French skin educator. I post videos about skincare tips and knowledge, but also, now sometimes about fashion so for now you might just see one video about fashion but hold on hold on okay i might very soon do other ones but i also launched a skincare coaching business since september 1st and i have a surprise for you to have a chance to win a one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me and i'm going to talk about all the details at the end of the video so stay tuned if you're interested so the ordinary red peeling i still don't know the exact name but i think it's like AHA 30% plus 2% BHA peeling solution. I know this product is so, so, so popular, but maybe for a bad reason. Like, I think that a lot of people don't know how to use it, so they start to hate it because they see how bad it affects their skin, because it is really dangerous if you don't know how to use it. That's why I'm here to tell you everything, all the do's and don'ts, just like you seem to like in my other video formats. Talking about the ordinary products, actually, take this product serious because it could do some severe damage. If you think this product is not working for you or it's not the right one for you, it just might be that it's you who doesn't know how to use it. So that's why I'm here. First, we're gonna talk about all the do's and the don'ts, and then I'll show you a clip of how to use it. And then we're gonna talk about the little surprise about the coaching session. So first do, use once a week maximum, okay? If you were tempted to do twice a week because you think your skin is tough and it can handle everything else, so it might be able to handle this thing twice a week or more, you're fooling yourself. This is not gonna work. You actually don't need to exfoliate your skin so much in a week. A regular chemical exfoliant of a concentration between like 2% for salicylic acid because it's regularly the percentage that works. So that's what you can find on the market. Most of the time, it's gonna be 2%. Maximum 2.5% for salicylic acid, which is the BHA, but it's gonna be a prescribed medication, either two or two to 5% of salicylic acid or, or less, of course, but that's the maximum you can find. And for AHAs, you're gonna find like 5%, 10%, and this is already a product that you don't wanna use like too much. Maybe you could use a product like that for like two to three times a week. Your skin doesn't need a daily exfoliant. So just imagine how rare you need this kind of exfoliator when it's 30% AHA plus 2% BHA. Really just keep it to once a week, that's way enough. Second do, use for no longer than 10 minutes, like 10, not 10.30, not 10.45, okay? Rinse it off immediately. Set a timer if you don't think that you're gonna be on time or you're gonna forget. If you're really scared about the effects it could have on your skin or how sensitive your skin could be or if it's the first time you're using it or you notice that you had some bad reactions to it previously, maybe even go to the bathroom, like start your way to the bathroom at minute eight, something like that. You could even wear it for less than that. Like you could just do it for five minutes. It's not like 10 minutes or nothing. It's 10 minute max. Adapt if you think your skin is really too sensitive for that kind of strong exfoliator. Maybe just do five minutes. It's already pretty good. Third, do wash your hands before applying the mask and before rinsing it off. So normally you already know that you're supposed to wash your hands before you start your skincare routine because even if you're using a cleanser as your first step of the skincare routine, it's not gonna kill the bacteria on your hands. Your hands are way dirtier than your face. Like your face isn't touching surfaces. You know, your hands are touching everything. They're doing all the gross stuff. So they have bacteria on them or viruses. So you need an actual 
with soap to kill the bacteria. Make sure you wash your hands anytime you're doing your skincare routine. But this time, you have to wash your hands before you apply this while you wait for it like to work for 10 minutes or less. Of course, you go about your business. And when you come back, make sure you wash your hands before you rinse it off because you're going to touch your face. So if you were touching anything in between that time lapse, you need to wash your hands. And especially because this is a very strong exfoliator. So it basically removes the layer of dead skin cells you have on your skin. So it leaves your skin very fragile. We could say like it's all new. It's like baby skin, you know, you don't want to touch a baby with dr dirty hands, right? You always have to wash your hands before you touch a baby. So that's basically the, the idea behind it. Fourth, do use at night. It says ideally on the packaging, but use at night. Don't use in the morning. As I said, it's very new skin. You basically have to really avoid the sun after you're doing this, at least for a day. But like when I say avoid the sun, it's like you can go outside but it's just like don't stay out in the sun and tan and also wear sunscreen obviously so the best thing to do is you do it at night your skin will not be in contact with the sun so that's perfect but then the next morning wear your sunscreen okay and i'm not gonna repeat it again you have to wear your sunscreen every day anyways but this morning really like you can't skip this step but never skip this step so fifth do use right after cleansing if you want to use a toner or a serum before you do this mask there's just no point because you're gonna rinse it off so it's a waste of money time skincare product anything and also because you don't want anything on your skin like it has to be on a clean face if you're using a product before that could even disrupt the whole thing because your skin could be like this is too much for me there's like another active ingredient already on my skin and i have to handle this okay i can't i quit make sure that you double cleanse because as i said you have to use it at night time and your skin needs to be really clean when you do it and at night time anyway you should do a double cleansing system which is a cleansing oil or a cleansing balm if you don't know what these are i made a video on it so check it out and then a regular cleanser like the one you probably already have this is gonna get the job done and set a good foundation for the mask to work and just a little quick note the double cleansing system is not just a recommendation it's for all skin types it's not just for dry skin people because it's oil cleansing no it's literally for everyone it's even beneficial for acne prone skins or oily skins it's it's really good trust me okay Sixth, do use gentle products after once you've rinsed off the mask. I'm not saying don't put anything on your skin except moisturizer, but if that's all you have as gentle product, then that's what you need to do. Like if you have just treatment products, what you can use is a hydrating serum, you know, a serum that doesn't do anything but hydrating and calming the skin. You have to follow up with at least a moisturizer because you're using it at night, so you don't need a sunscreen. Sorry, I live by a, a hospital, so there's like helicopters passing by. <laughs> yeah, you can use a hydrating serum or a neutral base moisturizer or an oil on your face. Of course, if it's a facial oil, like not just pull out, do not just pull out like olive oil or coconut oil or castor oil use facial product like facial products seventh do make sure your hands are really dry when you apply the mask on your face also i don't think i said it but your face should be dry too like clean but dry so you have to pat your skin first after cleansing and then follow up with the mask it do make sure that when you rinse off the mask really close your eyes do not let any mask water <laughs> run down your eyes especially not in your eyes try to avoid it touching the eye area like if that's possible <laughs> okay we're going to the don'ts now first don't put near your eyes <laughs> i just said it but so when you apply it avoid the eye area i stop at where i can see the texture changing like here it's still the chin for me but the chin okay the cheek for me so i just stop here i don't go where the texture starts to change in thinner skin that means it's more sensitive more prone to sensitive reaction very very fragile so 
stick to thick skin okay don't go under your eyebrow except if you have a pimple right under your eyebrow or in your eyebrow like it's okay here don't go too close to your eyes i would even advise to not go there but again if you need exfoliation there like if you have a pimple or an acne scar or something like that you can try to go but really far from your eyes like the furthest you can second do do not use the dropper on your skin i know i said it like in every video that i made about the ordinary do's and don'ts but it's so true and i'm still gonna say it again because sometimes people are new you know when i make a new video they can find me from that video so they might just hear it for the first time in their life or for the first time from me so yeah hey if you're new <laughs> welcome subscribe <laughs> i'll show you when i show you the clip but just don't let the dropper touch your skin either on your hands or on your face that's it third don't use a ton of product you don't need a lot of product because as i said it's very strong you just need a very thin layer as long as there's product everywhere or everywhere you need to you're good you don't have to go like four layers one layer of product is good it's cold by now if you didn't know but i've just been talking so much fourth don't use any actives before or after the mask what i mean by actives because a lot of people are confused when i say that we could say that for example hyaluronic acid is an active for some people it can be not really well tolerated if it's you i recommend to not use hyaluronic acid after it's just gonna be pretty complicated because most moisturizers have hyaluronic acid in them or like a derivative of hyaluronic acid but some moisturizers just have glycerin and then that's good for you but hyaluronic acid is pretty much well tolerated by everyone and i don't want to just say don't use hyaluronic acid after this really avoid any harsh treatment that you have because this is the harshest it's sufficient on its own a lot of people ask like is niacin about an active yes it's an active sometimes it can be concentrated in very small concentrations in other skincare products like moisturizer like for example CeraVe has a small concentration of niacinamide i think in their moisturizers and that's really okay as long as it's not like a vitamin c serum or you know you get the point just don't use the ordinary niacinamide 10 percent or even worse the polish choice 20 percent niacinamide like that would be a stretch fifth don't don't use physical exfoliation in this routine any form of physical exfoliation you could even do over exfoliating every day without even knowing physical exfoliation is not just scrubs if you're using any form of physical thing touching your face except your hands it is most of the time physical exfoliation if you're using makeup wipes to remove your makeup if you're using cotton rounds a cleansing brush cleansing tool a washcloth or if you are pulling and tugging your skin with your towel while you dry it all of it is physical exfoliation and you really want to avoid that in general i would say but especially when you are doing an exfoliating step in your routine already and especially Especially if this is the product that you're using because it's 30% AHA. It could sound pretty obvious, but use your hands to remove the mask. It's really gonna rinse off really easily. Safe don't. I would recommend to not do another form of exfoliation even the next day. So as I said, any physical exfoliation, anything of the things that I mentioned, and of course a chemical exfoliation. I have another recommendation, but that's like ideally if you can, even don't do another form of exfoliation for the next three days really you don't need it when you just did that it's like you resetted your skin reset and then it's new you know it's on a new start and you don't need to exfoliate it again it's ideally now at least do the first day seventh don't shave your face don't shave your face don't pluck your eyebrows don't wax your face don't pick at your skin pick at your pimples you shouldn't even do it in the first place i have a video on this though how to properly pop a pimple but it's really if you got like a really big event the next day or like you have to be saved but this day do not do anything that could hurt your skin or even upset it a little bit like you know when you pluck eyebrows you still have like sensitivity on there and you still have red skin over there even worse if you wax your skin because it's been exposed to heat it's been 
tugged so it's really sensitized do not add a peeling on top eight don't don't use it on your neck i know most of the time you have to use your facial mask all the way to your neck and even your decollete this mask as i said is pretty pretty strong if you want to exfoliate your body you can use it on your body the neck is very sensitive and it doesn't need that strong of an exfoliation when you're using your chemical exfoliators that are less concentrated that can be used two to three times a week these ones when you use them you can go down your neck because the concentration is lower it can be tolerated by your your neck skin and ninth don't final don't don't worry i'm gonna finish it don't use hot water to rinse off your skin or even to cleanse your skin before hot water is very harsh to your skin it can sensitize your skin and put it in a bad position to handle such a strong exfoliator after i always recommend to cleanse your face in general not just for the day or this routine always cleanse your face with water that's lukewarm so basically to try if it's lukewarm or if it's tolerable by your skin if it doesn't shock your hand if it's the same temperature as your hand you can use it on your face so let's move on with the actual routine as i want to show you this is my cleansing oil um yeah it's pretty good it gets the job done and it's very lightweight and i do my facial cleanser in my shower for now this is the facial cleanser that i'm using it stinks like i really hate the smell but <laughs> it does the job so now as i told you i'm gonna start with washing my hands because it's crucial really get in there get in there like precisely like wash every inch of your hands even under your nails okay um, as i'm doing <laughs> it's gonna turn into an asmr video <laughs> I'm just enjoying this voiceover so much. Okay, we get it, girl. Like, stop. Like, oh yeah, I remembered something that I wanted to add on the video script. So here, as I told you, I'm really making sure my hands are dry. And then we're starting off with the mask. And I want to be very careful. I'm actually not touching my skin, but you'll see later how I'm going to zoom even more but yeah don't worry i'm not touching my face and as you can tell i'm not using a whole pump on like one cheek or one part of my face it's just like maybe four little drops and that's enough like it's even doing more than just the cheek as you can tell i also wanted to show you how i'm using it on my eyebrow because you could use it on your eyebrows if you need to and here you can see that i'm not touching my face <laughs> i promise but it just looks like it when it's from afar that's why i zoomed in so much but yeah the point is to be very gentle with your face like look how i'm using only almost only my i was gonna say my ring finger but apparently not <laughs> But the ring finger is the most gentle finger. So if you want, just use your gentle finger, which is your ring finger, to apply the mask. So you're sure that at least you're not applying too much pressure and causing even more sensitivity to your skin. Because this is a very strong exfoliant, as I already told you. Okay, so we're done applying the mask and now we're gonna wait 10 minutes. Coming back from the 10 minute break, I'm immediately washing my hands as I told you because I can't rinse the mask off with dirty hands because I touched a lot of things, maybe my phone, maybe other things. So really make sure your hands are clean. And then I'm going in with rinsing the mask and making sure that really the least mask possible touches my eye area and as you can see like i'm trying to avoid the eye area even with the water it's almost like i'm trying to make the water a way to go down by my temples and not by the front which means by my eye area it really is a little complicated but it's fine if there's a little mask water going down your eyes as long as they're closed that's the most important thing and really make sure you're rinsing off everything from your face and pat dry your face very gently okay do not pull do not tug your skin 
really gently. I normally use um, tissues, but now I'm not really home and I'm using a towel. But it's okay if you're really being gentle. That's the most important thing. So now we're ready to start the rest of the skincare routine. And I'm going to start with the Eye Unique Black Snail Restore Serum. It, this is really good. I really like it. It's very moisturizing. And it's just gentle. So as I told you, it's not containing any like harsh um, actives. It's just about hydration, bringing moisture into your skin. And here it's mostly an anti-aging and really protecting your skin kind of product. So I'm really safe with using that right after the mask. And see how I'm being very gentle when I apply my products. I'm always doing that, but right now you really need to do that. Next, I'm following up with my moisturizer, which is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. It's a very thick cream, okay? And I need to kind of heat it up in my hands. And I'm not even like um, spreading it on my face. I'm just able to pat it in because this is so thick that you can't even glide it on your skin. And yeah, I'm really making sure that I'm moisturized enough after this mask. So now we're moving on to the oil part of my skincare routine because I just want to be extra for this routine because of course I'm filming it first of all <laughs> and second because I really did a trying mask for my skin so I really want to make sure I'm really taking care of it and pampering it with some more it's not moisture but it's gonna keep the moisture locked in your skin so yes it is at the end more moisture for my skin also notice how I used the three pump products the same way, meaning I didn't touch the skin of either my palms or my face. I really made sure the drops were falling on my skin from a distance. So basically just hold the thing in the air, squeeze the pump, and then the drop is going to fall on your skin. That's what I mean by don't let the dropper touch your skin. And the routine is done and here's how my skin looks. I'm sorry I didn't think of taking this video in the landscape mode. But yeah, it looks very new, very shiny and glowy. I love it. On to the French word of the day. Because last time I forgot, because I left YouTube for a, week, uh, a month, I completely forgot what I used to do or not do. So yeah. <laughs> Today's French word of the day is red. No, uh, it's the translation of red. It's... <laughs> I was like, is it French? <laughs> rouge. So rouge is red. Actually, the R in French is not that accentuated. Rouge, that's how we say it. We don't say rouge. Some people do and that's just weird, but. It's the most exciting part of the video now. So I saved it for later, of course. As some of you might know or might not know, I launched a skincare coaching business since September 1st. It's on my website. Basically, I provide two types of services, a 15 minute skincare coaching and a 45 minute skincare coaching. You can go check them out in my website. I'm not gonna detail everything right now but basically the 15 minute is pretty quick is just to review your skincare routine and just tell you like uh you have to stop using it or this product is bad for you basically and the 45 minute skincare coaching is to tell you like what you need basically <laughs> like product recommendations everything like background study of your skin etc like it's a deeper analysis of your skin some tips and essential steps to get you started on a good tailored customized skincare routine for you you. but I'm not a dermatologist or an esthetician so no I can't say it's perfect but it's tailored to your needs the thing that I want to do is like a contest kind of thing if you want of course I want you to participate in like a contest to win a 45 minute one-on-one -on -one coaching session with me so where I'm gonna basically create a skincare routine for you and we're gonna talk about your skin and analyze everything that you're doing and yeah so if you want to win your coaching session all you have to do is like this video subscribe to my youtube channel of course if you haven't already and follow me on ig which is at your skin by laura and the third thing that i want to do that i want you to do is comment down below red emojis rouge all right so i know you're participating in the contest and you're not just commenting because it's a good video <laughs> so yeah like the video comment down below red emojis and 
subscribe to my YouTube channel and follow me on IG. I just want to say that I plan on doing a YouTube video from this coaching session that I want to record basically. And if you're not comfortable with this, if you're shy or if you don't want to be recorded, of course, like don't participate in the content specifically because I would really like to do another video. I have an idea to do this. Show you guys how I do it basically and stuff. If you're really camera shy, you don't want to be posted on YouTube, which is totally understandable, then don't participate in the contest. But of course, you can still get my coaching session and book me, of course, on my website. It's all available there. Good luck, everyone. I love you so much and I'm going to be checking the comments all day. <laughs> and literally, I'm so excited. And uh, <laughs> love you guys. Bless you. Have a blessed week. Bye. Bisous.